What's up, Nail Geeks, and welcome back to a Great Lakes Lacquer video. I am so behind schedule and busy, busy, busy bee making content for you all behind the scenes, and I'm also busting my ass to get PPU out in time, too. So I apologize about the lack of face. I figured you all wouldn't mind as so long as I get videos out at a decent on schedule rate leading up to and making sure PPU gets out on time. This time I have Great Lakes Lacquer's newest collection that is dropping tomorrow. So without further ado, let's check them out. And first one up is A Leaf Falls. This is described as a golden orange base filled with red to orange to gold shifting shimmer. This is what I would describe as, at least when I first started swatching it, it was the first thing that popped into my head. I was like, nacho cheese. It's a perfect pumpkin-y type of orange, but we've got some neon nacho action happening here. This has a beautiful formula to it. Two coats was all I needed. This looks ridiculous against my skin tone in the best way possible. Medium to deep skin tones. This is going to look beautiful on you. Two coats and a glossy top coat is all you need. Nothing Gold Can Stay is described as a lemon yellow bursting with a green to blue to pink shifting shimmer. Now, I do agree with that official description. In case this one gets a little skewed, I know we've got massive shimmer bombs in this video. But in case anything happens, Nothing Gold Can Stay is what I would describe as definitely being a lemony yellow. I'm not seeing any type of undertones here. That base color is a perfect perfect yellow. The shimmer to this is going to appear to you as what it looks like on my full hand shot here. I think three coats and a glossy top coat is perfect. This is Crelly goodness. It's got a touch of a plumping factor to the formula, but I just thought it was perfect. No need to be careful with it. We passed the setting sun is described as a burnt burgundy blazing with red to copper to gold shifting shimmer and a touch of scattered hollow. This is a just <laughs> lack of better words. This is like a sexy nail polish. It is so pretty. And I think this is going to look so flattering on any skin tone. This built up so delightful at two coats for me. It was so pigmented and opaque. Now I know that my photos and maybe my full hand chart aren't doing this one justice. I do think it looks color accurate on my monitor here. Just in case it's not, this is a burgundy with a blazing inner orangey type of glow. Where the rose should grow is described as a snow white filled with pink to purple shimmer that shifts to orange and gold and green. We have another Crelly type of formula here. I chose to take this one up to three coats. Now, please note if you have shorties or you're rocking nubbins, I think two coats might do you good. That's with the caveat that this is a very Crelly type of formula and it is a shimmer bomb and we've got a white base, meaning go light on your brush strokes to prevent any potential streaking. This is just how white Crellys typically work. No issues or it being problematic, but you just want to go soft. Don't overwork it. I think three light coats is perfect if you have any type of free edge and a good glossy top coat. This is pearly good. And then last one is the limited edition. This is take no shit, do no harm. This is described as a holographic in the same formula as a butterfly and its brethren. This features a green to blue to purple shifting shimmer. Now, please note, this is a true limited edition and that it's only available during this pre-order. It does state in our PR information, there may be overpours listed with the Black Friday offerings, but that is not a guarantee. You need this polish. Trust me, you need it. It's stunning. It's frosty. It's almost chrome-like, and it's very holographic and bright lights. I'm going to suggest three light coats and a glossy top coat. This is stunning in person. And then we're going to wrap this quickie up with the Willet Topper segment. This is where I use a black swatch stick to demonstrate if polishes have layering capabilities. So I'm just going to kick back here real quick and let you all enjoy the show here. They all topper beautifully. There is no skimping on that shimmer pigment. We've got lots and lots of beautiful glow. I think you can do quite a bit with these with the caveat that maybe we pass the setting sun might not do so well on say, I don't know, something ridiculous like pastel undies, but why would you do that? So regardless, I think you can get a little bit of extra play with these, but mm, they are so pretty, so stunning and shimmer good. 
Now, this collection is only available through this pre-order and Black Friday offerings. I want to really stress that it is going to be discontinued outside of that. These will drop tomorrow, September 26th at 9 p.m. Eastern time. You can grab them for $13.50 individually or $46 for the fall quad. That excludes that last LE there. There is also going to be overpour of the anniversary trio and a couple other overpours too that I'm showing you all on the site here. I will link you below to this exact website for Great Lakes Lager on where to purchase. And I'll also link you to the Facebook fan group if you want to get in there. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.